Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be showing a brief overview of the uh, display for the Fox Marine Gateway and how it shows on our touchscreen Garmin. We're also going to show how the Fusion Radio displays on there uh, and how it looks and what sort of gauges we see on the Garmin. A few people were asking about what sort of gauges are displayed, how it looks and everything. It's going to be different on newer boats. On uh, newer boats you're going to have a lot more um, inputs that the ECU uh, shows the gateway and you'll see all of those, you'll be able to see all of those on your touch screen. This uh, boat in particular is a 1999 uh, Cobalt 292 and the motor that we're working with is a Volvo Penta uh, 502 502 cubic inch 8.2 GSI and uh, it is a fuel injected motor it is controlled by uh, a GM ECU whenever you're ordering your Fox Marine Gateway you got to make sure that you order it for the appropriate ECU there's some instructions on their website to identify the ECU and if you take a look at one of the other videos on my channel uh, I walk through how to identify the ECU, locate it, pop it off, look at the part number and what's relevant off of there uh, for you to be able to order the cor correct Fox Marine Gateway. Now if you watch some of the other videos, you know I also moved my Fusion Marine radio from the glove box over here to the helm and I also have that tied to the NEMA uh, 2000 network and to the Garmin touchscreen as well. It's very simple to set up. I walk through that in detail on two of my other videos, one for the Fusion and one for the Fox Marine Gateway coming over to the Garmin uh, GPS touchscreen. Now if you see here, this is the default screen. I've programmed uh, the buttons here. You can have four different views on this particular Garmin touchscreen pre-identified and programmed uh, so that when you hit one of these buttons, one, two, three, and four, it goes directly to those views. For me, number two is our uh, Fusion uh, display and all of the controls that go along with that. Uh, you can hit mute, volume, up, down, song, uh, previous, next. You can change the Bluetooth device you're connected to. Um, and then uh, you can also see the title and artist of the song that you're playing there. Very useful because it's a nice giant screen. Instead of looking at this tiny little screen over here and having the knobs and no touch screen, I really like that part with the integration with the Fusion Radio. Now, number three, I have programmed to show all of the gauges that the Fox Marine Gateway displays. Again, on this boat, it's a little bit older, so we don't have all of the gauges. On some of the newer boats, you'll have the trim level displayed as well. I don't on my uh, ECU, but I am planning on adding a trim level sender that has an output that uh, can be seen by the NMEA 2000 network and then eventually hooking it up to this. I've got my fuel level, my fuel flow, which is very interesting, and it seems to be pretty accurate. When I'm cruising along, I'm at about eight gallons per hour. Right now at idle, I'm at 1.3 gallons per hour. Uh, my RPM, which is very accurate um, and, and displays very well. You've got your alarms that show up for water temperature, oil uh, pressure and level, etc. Those actually do work. Um, you've got your water temperature there. Uh, you can set where it alarms. I left it at default. You've got your voltage here. And in my case, I don't have an oil temperature sensor. Uh, I may add one at some point, but I don't currently. Uh, my controller is a little bit older. It is this style controller right here. So my reverse neutral and forward don't show. If I ever do update the controller, uh, I may add one that shows uh, an output to an NMEA 2000 network and get that added as well. Now, there's a lot of other screens for several other parameters, but again, on my particular ECU and engine uh, and its age, it doesn't show a lot of those. But for me, this is fantastic. That's really all I need. I always keep my eye on this. Uh, I don't really bother looking at the analog gauges if I need accurate data, but they are up here as well. I've got my oil pressure, water temperature, voltage, um, speed. My, I replaced this with a GPS speedometer. Highly recommended. Uh, I have another video on how to convert over to the GPS speedometer um, and then my other gauges there as well. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you do want a walkthrough of how to install the Fox Marine Gateway, um, connect it to your NMEA 2000 network and build that out along with the Garmin GPS touchscreen, the Fusion Radio and all of that, uh, check out the other videos on the channel and you should be able to find those. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Always happy to help. In the meantime, 
Love y'all. See you next time.